smitten in Japan, where we meet Japanophiles with a fresh perspective on lesser known parts of the country. In this corner of Tokyo, the narrow back streets packed with small shops bustle with activity. It almost looks like something out of an old Japanese movie. This neighborhood is called Koenji. By train, it's less than 10 minutes from skyscraper filled Shinjuku. It's filled with locally owned shops, all with their own distinct atmosphere. Browse these shops, and you might find what you're looking for. Or you might find something else entirely. It almost feels like something out of a Japanese fairy tale. Today, I'm talking to Andika Faisal, a man from Jakarta, Indonesia, who's made Koenji his home. He came to Japan in 2010 and now runs a space in Koenji that's part art gallery, part cafe and bar, and part live music venue. You could say he's another person who's become smitten in Japan. Let's meet our host, me. I've been smitten in Japan where I work as a writer and actor since moving here over 10 years ago. Actually, I happen to live in Koenji too. Hello, Matthew Chozik here, very famous, <laughs> broadcasting again from home in a bow tie and pajamas. Thanks for tuning in, and I hope you enjoy this week's episode. Andika, welcome. So happy to finally be able to chat with you. Thank you very much, Matthew. Nice to meet you too. You can just call me Andy. It's okay. My a little bit short name. Thank you. I was worried about、uh, mispronouncing it. So, Andy, so,、uh, so you seem to be in a really kind of hip place. I see、uh, Long Vacation, one of my favorite albums, the LP behind you. Ah, really? Yes, yes.、Yeah. It's from、uh, Eiichi Otaki. Yeah.、Oh. That's so cool. People、uh, watching this should listen to that. Right, right. It's a great album. Yeah, so,、uh, where, are you, uh, where are you seated? I'm in Substar now,、uh, in my store. I'm、uh, kind of working here in Substar.、Uh, we built、uh, already about almost six years.、Mm -hmm. oh, that's awesome. And why Substar? Oh, What、yeah. is the name? <laughs> <laughs> Substar is basically,、uh, yeah, it's from、uh, S U B. <laughs> It stands for Small Unique Bookstore.、Ah. Uh, some people think it's like a subculture or something, but it's okay too. <laughs> <laughs> I built Substar actually first in、uh, Indonesia, in Jakarta, and in、uh, Bandung. Yeah. <laughs> so basically, I, I really like books, shops, i s place to get knowledge and everything. I'm very glad actually. I'm very happy and proud to have these shops in Koenji as well. <laughs> cool. Why did Andy choose Koenji? This shop in the neighborhood offers a hint. When morning comes, a man takes down the rain shutters and reveals a row of books. This is a mini library called the Town Bookshelf. Anyone can take any book they'd like as long as they add a book of their own. That's just the start. The man who runs this bookshelf is the owner of this used bookstore slash bar. He's not getting rich on this place, but that's not the point. He does it to serve the local community. There are even more used bookstores here in Koenji. Let's take a look inside this one. The shop seems to carry a lot of items other than books. These items aren't for decoration, they're actually for sale.
The owner, Awa Uda Yuko, says this wasn't her original intention. お客さんが持ってくるようになっちゃって、最初は本もあるならおもちゃも一緒に引き取りますよぐらいな感じだったんですけど、なんか徐々におもちゃだけでもお願いしますみたいな感じの方が増えて、まあ売れなくもないので、
can say more than six, more than eight record stores, but nobody same. They complement each other in a way that yeah, has, that yeah, adds yeah. the dynamism of the city. So. Dynamism, yeah, you yeah. correct, you correct. Let's visit one of these Koenji record shops. But wait, where are the records? It looks like they sell a lot of random stuff. Just like the bookstore we saw earlier, this style is very Koenji. Okay, here we go. CDs and LPs line the shelves. They even have seven inch singles. Let's find out why the owner decided to open in Koenji. えっと、こちらはですね、えっと、Lately, Japanese records have been flying off the shelves, and many buyers are from outside Japan. まあ、売れたものっていうと例えばまあ、ワイモとかね、あの、色マジックオーケストラとかあったりとかしますけど、そういったレコードなんてうちらもう20年以上やってれば、もう倉庫になんてもう山のようにあったんですけど、そういうもの
linchpins of the Koenji music scene. Oh, Fumiko <laughs> san, Yusamu san. Hi. Hi, Mashu. Thank you so much for joining us. Arigato gozaimasu. The pair opened their restaurant in Koenji in the 80s. Before that, they worked in a legendary music venue not far from Koenji, where they witnessed performances from genre defining musicians like Yamashita Tatsuro and Otaki Eichi. Koenji wa doyu fu ni kono nihon no ongaku bunka no chushinji ni narimashita? Ano Koenji wa Yusto Record no mise. とあとロック喫茶ってマッシュわかる、うん、ロック喫茶っていう名前のミュージックパブで新しいレコードとか聴けるお店に行ってロックのお店で SNS がないんで昔は直接お店に行っていろんな人のコミュニティができたりとかそういうことしかあのあの情報を得ることができなかったからあのおかしいのはねあのウェイトレスの女の子がいるじゃないでみんな髪がねジャニス・ジョップリみたいな髪してて<笑>あのタイムムシーになったら行きたいですそういう店が高円寺はいっぱいあったのでえなんで高円寺選ぶと思いますか非常に街,街があの人を拒否しない感じそうですねまあ才能のある人大体ちょっと変わってる人なので The unique point of 高円寺 What the artist want What the artist give yeah, Which is communication each other What they need, what they provide, what they have. It's a good circle, good, good, good combination. In a neighborhood like this, even restaurant owners have to be prepared to cater to hardcore fans. For example, in my own house, I've been looking for a few years ago, and I've been looking for a few years ago, and I've been l o o k i n GS のとあるグループの、えー、曲がどうしてもアナログレコードで聴きたいっていう方がいらしたんですよ。でなぜかうちに来て「ここならあるんじゃないの?」みたいなあれで、まあ、たまたまそれがあったから良かったんですけれども高円寺の町に来た時に例えばいろんな思いをそれぞれが持ってあの見えると思うんですよ。でそれのあれに、まあ、100% はないと思うんですけれども。えー、8割以上に近くは答えられるような、えー、ものを持ってると思うんですよねだからそういうのも魅力なんじゃないんですしょうかね。The record that women wanted to hear was Okasan, a 1968 single from a band called The Tempters. Luckily, she happened to come to just the right place. The strange appeal of Koenji seems to cross time and space. Attracting people of many different ages and backgrounds. For me, it's like more, more the hub of the,、uh, the hub of、uh, Tokyo's culture, Koenji's.、Yeah. I feel the same way.、Um, mm-hmm. As an American, like, I grew up outside of New York City.、Yeah. And in、yeah. New York, there's this pattern where there will be a cultural hub for a little while, and it yeah, gets yeah. kind of gentrified, too expensive. And then、mm-hmm. artists, students, intellectuals,、uh, creatives have to move out. Whereas、right. in, uh, in Tokyo, for a long time now, Koenji has been a very important cultural hotspot. I、yes. think it's interesting. Hot yes. Andy,、yep. in addition to books, one of my favorite things about Koenji are the used clothing stores and the used furniture stores. Koenji is home to over 100 small used clothing stores. Whose reputation even extends abroad. The lineup ranges from expensive fashion items to reasonable everyday wear. With a little digging, you can find almost anything to fit your style. They're so densely packed, aren't they? Yes, yes. It's incredible, just like used clothing store, used clothing store, used clothing store, used clothing store. Again, like the diverse is crazy too. One shop is like more hip hop, you know, like more like baggy, huge, like side cap, but the <laughs> other one like more Americana, like old school,、mm-hmm. neo Victorian kind of stuff.、Mm-hmm. And then the rock t shirts, Boro Boro, like whole rock t shirts, <laughs> like vintage 90s. Uh, Grunge t shirts, which is like amazing. It's like, wow, like 
My favorite thing about thrift shopping is if you go to a big kind of chain store, right, the fashion for this year, it's all pretty standardized, right? It's uniform, you know mm. pretty much what you'll be getting. But in yep, a thrift yep. store, it's always like a treasure hunt. Exactly. There are also stores with used appliances and furniture. Even if you're making a fresh start in Koenji, you can get everything you need here at a reasonable price. These washing machines are about 80 bucks. Microwave, 20 bucks. How is business at this place? いや、そうですね。もうむしろ溢れて困ってるぐらいの感じですね。もうどんどんどんどん入ってくるんで。でもやっぱおすすめって言うと結構ね、まああんまりリサイクル関係ないですけど、こういう例えばアジア圏のそ
In nostalgia, there's almost like this satisfaction of already having enough stuff where it's like you don't really need so much new stuff. You don't mm -hmm. need an excess, like a, a glut uh, of new culture because there's already a lot of good stuff from the past. And in that way, there's something yeah. almost anti-capitalist about it. Andy has packed his store with all the things he loves. Walking into his shop is like tapping straight into his brain. Records. Art. Books. Old VHS tapes and soft vinyl figures. And live music. Everything important to Andy is within his reach. He's like a kid in a toy store of his own making, a store that helps him connect with other people here in Koenji. People can study, people can have a data here, or like can work, or simply they can browse some music, ask me how to play uh, the turntable, uh, uh, the harmony, you know, between the cafe, the musics, the background musics, and then the collections, then like, and the books, then the balance is like, uh, yeah, that's what we call mini miniature of Koenji. Cool, yeah, I mean, it sounds in a way sort of like a microcosm of Koenji. You all seem to really be carefully curating the best music, the best of culture from the past as well as the present. And there's this great kind of synergy that comes from that. Because I like this nostalgic, I want to share to the people. Etymologically, right, the word nostalgia, um, it actually indicates pain. So the word nostalgia is an uncomfortable pain that you get because you want to go home, but you can't get home, right? So like in the Odyssey, uh, the protagonist wanted to go back home to his island in Greece and he couldn't get there. And that's sort of one of the first uh, historical uses of nostalgia. Mm -hmm. But the word in Japanese, natsukashi, it's so positive. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Always um, positive, ne? Yeah. Natsukashi, it, ne? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it means basically the same thing as nostalgia in English, but it's so much more positive. It's such a happier experience. What is Andy's plan for the future here in Koenji? I need to keep on continue to to do a good things in uh, in Koenji especially uh, the culture the musics and the uh, peoples here and of course the last thing is like keep on the the community is really uh, positive and tight in here we still have uh, faith uh, we still have the passion on the, to continue this town to be getting more more better and better as the hub or the the spot of the culture not only in Tokyo but uh, uh, on Japan and if it's possible you know, in the world as you're living in Koenji too you will be the part of this too and I just want to say one last time Andy that I think yeah. it's so cool the way you contribute to Japanese culture um, as a foreigner, doing your thing, having your store. Yeah. But you also, I think, are really contributing to the youth culture. And I think it's really inspiring. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much, Mito Kochera Hoso. Thank you so much. So let's chat again sometime soon. Sure. Okay. Take care. Take care. You too. See you.